A guy sent me a really good question the other day and essentially he kind of gave me this story that he'd been focusing all of his time and effort on starting a business and he knew that he was neglecting his date in life and he was always comparing himself to like his friends um, who were already established with their businesses or that they were employed or that they were happy in relationships and he was constantly comparing himself to these friends of his and whilst doing so, he was also just constantly being too harsh to himself and putting himself down. And it was just ultimately stressing himself out uh, even more. And I, I really related to this guy because certainly, you know, experiences that I've had for myself over the years where I've been too hard on myself, um, it got me thinking of a really, really good um, concept that I want you to consider. And that is that I want you to consider being your own best friend. And especially if it's a case that you just haven't got the support around you to kind of take you out of that slump um, if you're finding yourself within it. So let's let's just kind of like break that down. What, what does it mean to be your own best friend? Well, I know for me personally over the years where I have had to do a lot of work on my own and, you know, I haven't always had the support around me that I would have liked to have hoped for. And whilst that has happened, I have constantly focused on my work, neglected other areas of my life, and then I have stressed myself out because of it. And hopefully maybe you can relate to this where then those limiting beliefs tend to kick in and then you might say things like that you're just not good enough this is the way and how it is, maybe you're a failure, you know, and, and so on. And, you know, and these, these limiting beliefs certainly aren't great and they aren't going to help you with your situation. In fact, they're only going to make things worse. So something that then I used to do was that I would instead sort of try and take a step back and try and be supportive for myself and say, look, Daniel, you are stressing yourself out over this, right? Take a break from your work let's go and just do something else. Let's go do a workout. Let's go to the garden. Let's go into a park. Let's have a walk, have a breather, and then come back to it. Now, I want you to think about, are you doing this same thing for yourself? Imagine if it was a best friend of yours who was going through a really tough time. How would you be supporting them? Because I can assure you, you certainly wouldn't be saying to them like, yeah, you're not good enough. Yeah, maybe you should give up. Um, yeah, you're such a failure. You wouldn't say that. You would be incredibly supportive. So if that's the case, why not be supportive for yourself? Why not give yourself some benefit of the doubt and give yourself the support that you need to succeed? And that can look like anything for everyone. You know, in the scenario I just gave, I mean, I would give myself advice on taking a break, just distract yourself, have a breather, you know, and chill. But if let's say it's the scenario for dating, if you are comparing yourself to maybe friends who have better dating lives than you, then have a think like, okay, you know what? I'm stressing myself out over this. There's no need to do that. If I'm worried about my dating, then why not put that as the priority? Why not take myself out? Let's go do something sociable. Let's do do something that gives me an opportunity to work on this area if it is bothering me that much. You know, there's also an element of taking responsibility in that, which I'll, I'll do in, in other videos anyway, but there's something very powerful in being your own friend, giving yourself that support that you need. And even just to add, you know, if you are someone who compares yourself to other people and their dating lives and that maybe they're better, maybe you're in a bad place or that you're just not confident or that you do suffer from a lot of anxiety, you know, I want you to know, like over the years when certainly I was working with a lot of dating coaches and I was filming them being really sociable and hearing them going on dates and, and whatnot, you know, it would stress me out as well. You know, I would think like, wow, yeah, maybe I'm not going to have a great date in life because I'm just living my day in life through watching other people. And it's a crazy mentality to think that that idea had even crossed my mind. And I would just take a step back and be like, look, Daniel, don't stress yourself out over this. If you want to work on your dating life, 
work on your dating life. Don't think that just because other people are ahead, they're going to always constantly be ahead. Everyone hits that plateau. That is absolutely fine. And that sort of like voice that I needed to hear, that support telling me like, look, don't worry, it's not that bad, made me feel so much better about myself and allowed me also just to progress and get on with things and also to work on my dating life. You know, so that's where certainly if you haven't watched my other video already on, you know, that no one is going to come and save you. Um, certainly I do dabble in the idea of, um, you know, taking some responsibility for your life or that, you know, there's no point trying to wait for other people to come and rescue you or that the universe is going to do it. You have to be the one to be proactive to do it yourself. But try this exercise. Try and be your own friend. Try and just be nice to yourself. The moment that you are struggling with something, the moment you are anxious, give yourself that support. Imagine you are having an out of body experience and you are giving yourself advice and the advice that you need to get through that moment that you're struggling with. And I would love to hear what advice you've been giving yourself. So do please leave that uh, leave those comments in the uh, description or in the comments bit below. And also, if you are struggling with your anxiety, then I am an integral eye movement therapist. I have now officially become a practitioner, which is amazing. And um, I can help you with your anxiety and build your confidence. And if you are finding that that inner voice is taking up too much of your life or controlling you too much as well, then that is something that I can help with and I can kind of reduce those limiting beliefs that are affecting who you are as a person and uh, hopefully it can help you to move on in life. And also, I am a life coach, uh, so if you are also struggling with having yourself held accountable, maybe you are finding that this exercise is going to be very difficult for you to try and give yourself the support that you need. And maybe you do need the external support. You know, we all need that support anyway, but if you are struggling to do it on your own, then I would love to hear from you as well. If you check out my link in the description box to my website, uh, cameradan.co.uk forward slash dating anxiety, then I would love to discuss with you how maybe I can help you with improving this area of your life um, and by that, I do mean your confidence and your anxiety and your limiting beliefs and hopefully get you to a place where you do feel like that you've got the support that you need so you can get through whatever those hardest moments are that you've got. So like the video, subscribe to the channel. I look forward to hearing your comments on how this exercise works for you and the things that you say to yourself. And of course, as always, look forward to more content coming from me in the near future.